Imagine a tiny creature, no bigger than a grain of rice, with the power to build an empire. This is the story of a queen ant, and her incredible journey to create a thriving colony against all odds. She has just 1,000 days to establish her legacy, but danger lurks at every turn. A rival colony watches from the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. If she fails, they'll wage war, destroy everything she's built, and claim it as their own. The fate of an entire species rests on her tiny shoulders. In the first crucial days, our queen carves out a hidden nest underground. It's here, in the safety of the earth, that her first generation of eggs begins to develop. But above ground, the world is fraught with peril. Competing colonies and hungry predators are never far away. This is only the beginning of her epic journey. From this moment on, the queen will never again leave the sanctuary of her nest. Instead, she focuses all her energy on creating workers, loyal servants, and fierce protectors, who will become the lifeblood of the colony. But trouble arrives sooner than expected. A lone wild ant, scouting for new territory, stumbles upon the fledgling nest. This scout belongs to a wild colony that has made its home right on a nearby windowsill. The reaction from the newborn workers is instant and decisive. They spring into action, frantically building a wall to seal off the entrance. These tiny creatures will stop at nothing to safeguard their queen. Within moments, the tunnel is blocked, and the immediate threat is neutralized. But this is just a glimpse of the battles to come. To survive the looming war, they'll need more than just a few workers. They'll need an army. Growing such an army requires fuel, and that means food. This particular species specializes in seed collection. Tirelessly, they haul their precious cargo underground into a makeshift bakery. Here, the seeds are meticulously ground and crushed into an nutritious bread, the perfect sustenance for the colony as growing garlic. The strategy pays off. Seventy days later, the nest experiences a population explosion, all thanks to their tiny underground bakery. But these new workers face a steep learning curve. They're weak and clumsy, still finding their footing in the complex world of the colony. What they need now is sugar, energy-rich foods like honey, to help them grow strong. For days, a small pool of honey sits untouched near the nest. The colony seems wary, unsure of this new resource. But their caution proves wise when a wild ant discovers the sweet treasure. At first, she appears to be alone. But appearances can be deceiving. Suddenly, chaos erupts. The honey becomes the epicenter of a vicious attack. This skirmish is just a taste of the full-scale war that's brewing between the colonies. Within moments, the fledgling nest is overrun by invaders. Frantic efforts are made to save as many ants as possible, but the damage is catastrophic. Most of the workers do not survive this brutal assault. The few remaining ants are battered and injured, but even in the face of such devastation, they display a remarkable behavior. With great care and reverence, they begin to bury their fallen comrades. Ants are one of the rare creatures in the animal kingdom known to honor their dead in this way. They may have lost this battle, but the war is far from over. Can they still emerge victorious? Weakened but determined, the surviving ants regroup and try again. This time, they approach the honey with extreme caution. They even go so far as to cover it with dirt and debris, cleverly disguising it from the prying eyes of the wild colony. This isn't just about protecting a food source. The honey represents life itself for the colony. It provides the energy needed to feed and protect the queen, the only ant capable of laying eggs. If she perishes, the entire colony dies with her. But as long as she survives, there's hope for the future. By day 600, the nest has transformed into a veritable fortress. It's time to put their defenses to the test. A swarm of 100 fruit flies is introduced to the area. These tiny invaders are small, annoying, and incredibly persistent. As the flies scatter in all directions, the ants initially panic. Some of the flies instinctively freeze, hoping to avoid detection. But movement proves fatal in this miniature war zone. One by one, the flies are hunted down with ruthless efficiency. A few manage to escape the immediate onslaught, but they don't get far. They end up in the territory of the wild colony, which has now grown so large that it extends far beyond its original windowsill home. Over the course of the next year, our original colony expands into a thriving empire. But they're not alone in their success. The wild colony grows in parallel, both sides silently preparing for the inevitable clash. The tension builds day by day until finally, war begins in earnest. It starts with a single wild ant infiltrating the kitchen where our colony resides. Upon returning to the scene, chaos reigns supreme. 
The enemy has already breached the outer defenses and is tunneling deep underground. In a desperate move, the queen is rushed to the deepest, most secure chamber of the nest. The upper levels of the nest are hastily abandoned, as workers swarm protectively around their beloved queen. But the invaders aren't satisfied with merely claiming territory. They're after the most precious resource of all, the larvae. One by one, these helpless young ants are brutally killed. A thousand days of preparation have led to this pivotal moment. The colony faces an impossible choice. Flee to save their queen, or stand their ground, and fight against overwhelming odds. In a display of incredible bravery, they choose to fight. Rallying around their queen, the defenders of the colony burst to the surface en masse. The battle that ensues is nothing short of epic. Even the household pets join the fray, adding to the chaos and confusion. Against all odds, the tide begins to turn. The enemy's resolve breaks, and they begin to retreat. Moments later, victory is declared. The wild colony, once so menacing, has been utterly defeated. They vanish, never to threaten this empire again. Our tiny queen, who began this journey alone and vulnerable, now stands at the heart of a thriving, unassailable fortress. Through determination, strategy, and the unwavering loyalty of her subjects, she has carved out a legacy that will endure for generations to come. This is the remarkable story of how a single ant can build an empire, overcoming seemingly insurmountable challenges along the way. It's a testament to the power of perseverance, teamwork, and the indomitable spirit of life itself. In the end, our queen ant didn't just survive. She thrived, creating a world all her own in the span of a thousand days.